Death, they say, is inevitable. A challenge that tells us not to waste time. 2020 has been a year which comes with its own trials and tribulations. Just as any other year, Ghana records a number of deaths among celebrities which throw their country into days of mourning and take over the news headlines. This information takes a look at some known Ghanaians who have passed away in the year so far. Beatrice Chinri, veteran actor-actress Beatrice Chinri, popularly referred to as Miliki Miko in Yolo TV series, passed away on Wednesday, June 10, 2020 at the Kolobuti Chin Hospital. Miliki Miko, according to sources, died of high blood pressure and other health complications. She died at the age of 54 and left behind two children. She started acting on stage in 1993. The late veteran actress shot to fame from the TV sitcom Kijetia. Kojo Riafe Kojo Ano Riafe was a popular radio presenter on NEAT FM who died on June 4, 2020. Riafi, who doubled as an MC, died at the Nyahom Medical Center in Accra after a short illness. Kojo, until his death, was a key member of the Despite Media Group. He was the host on NEAT FM late afternoon show Yekofie and a stand-in for Abe Kusantene's show on OKFM. Several reports in the media suggest that he died of coronavirus. Apreku, my daughter. Pastor Imano Apreku, popularly known as Apreku, my daughter, also passed away on Tuesday, May 20, 2020. According to a source close to the family, he was found dead in his room. The preacher gained popularity in the late 90s and early 2000s. He was known across the country and had over 25 branches with a huge number of followers. He was the founder and leader of King Jesus Evangelistic Ministry International. Before he died, he appeared in a viral video looking drunk. Many have attributed his death to the embarrassment the trended video brought him. Bishop Bernard Nyako. The death of Bishop Bernard Nyako came as a surprise to most Ghanaians. The Kumasi based actor became a full time pastor to spread the word of God. The actor ditched acting for the gospel after he was hit with an unknown illness. The versatile actor gave up the ghost at the Ridge Hospital in Accra on Saturday, May 2, 2020. Kofi B. Kofi Bwachi Yadom known as Kofi B, was a modern-day highlife musician who stayed true to the rudiments of the highlife genre. The artist died during the early hours of Sunday, February 2, 2020. Kofi B died as a result of a heart attack while he was in Cape Coast for a show. A doctor who witnessed the final minutes of the highlife artist said he was restless and vomited a lot. DJ Amez DJ Amez was the manager of missing musician Castro. According to reports, he died after a short illness at the Kolebuti Chin Hospital. He was a regular pundit on ATV, Onya FM, Top Radio, Adom Entertainment Hall, Kasapa Entertainment, etc. He died on the same day, June 4, 2020, with Kojo Riafe. CK Bedi, also known as APC, was a prolific keyboardist who died at 72. The blind keyboardist died on Monday, April 6, 2020. The veteran instrumentalist was noted for playing for the Yamwas band. He also recorded with a lot of bands. He was also noted for his works on songs like Sewa Koto, Eshe Obo, etc. by Yamwas band, Akwesiam Pofueje and Obwoba J.A. Adolfo, respectively. Prophet Seth Frimpong Veteran gospel musician Prophet Seth Frimpong died on Friday, April 24th after a short illness. The prophet had earlier on recovered from an illness he battled for long. He was missing from the music scene for a while due to ill health but bounced back in 2017. In June that year, he disclosed in an interview that he had been battling diabetes. He further revealed he went blind for three days but never mentioned it to his relatives. He was laid in state on Saturday, October 3rd, 2020 at Akitibomo off Antwa Road, Kumase. Sir John Former General Secretary of the Governing New Patriotic Party, NPP, Kojo Owusu Efriye, popularly known as Sir John, died of coronavirus on July 1, 2020. He lost his sister and mother to the virus a week before his demise. He succumbed to the complications of the disease while undergoing treatment at the ICU of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Mr. Owusu Efriye became CEO of the Forestry Commission in March 2018 after being appointed to that position by President Ekufo Ado. 
Nana Tufo. The veteran highlife performer died on June 15. Nana Tufo, the Odoka Krasi Kakakra hitmaker, 66, died at home in the early hours of Monday after a short illness. Ray Styles, the creative director of penciled celebrities artist Emmanuel Apreku, otherwise known as Ray Styles, passed away on Thursday, October 1, 2020, after battling kidney cancer for months. Announcing the demise of the talented young man on microblogging site, Twitter, a handler at Taylor Marik, believed to be one of Ray's close friends, said he was doing well, but unfortunately, we lost him. On August 20, 2020, First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, Rebecca Ekufo-Addo, contributed an amount of $20,000 towards the treatment of the fast deteriorating health of the pencil artist. One of the mediums used in raising money for the young Ghanaian pencil artist, GoFundMe, also exceeded its target for Ray to undergo the emergency surgery. The late Emmanuel Preku was the owner of the beautiful pencil and acrylic drawings on social media. He owned Ray Style Studios, or the pencil celebrities, and had many paintings that highlighted societal abuse, including child abuse, marital violence, racism, and so on. Prophet Agrada Popular Ghanaian prophet Eric Akwesibuache, popularly known as Odifo Agrada, died suddenly on Friday, reports indicated. According to the reports, he passed away on the morning of Friday, July 31, 2020. Odifo Agrada founded the Heaven Door Chapel based in Kumase but has branches in Accra and other parts of the country. He had been battling an undisclosed illness for some time before his demise. Nana E.J. Sikapa Ace broadcaster with Despite Media Group's Peace FM, Daniel E.J. Pepra, popularly known as Nana E.J. Sikapa, died in the afternoon of Friday, June 19, 2020. Nana E.J. Sikapa was a professional teacher. He taught both in Atrima Agogo and Ebuakwa RC Primary School for several years. He survived by a wife, Madame Teresa Amankwa, and their six children. He is said to have joined Despite Media Group in 2013 after the famous and affluent Dr. Osei Kwame invited him to work with his numerous skilled and talented newscasters. He established himself by his famous appellation style of radio presentation which was unique. Reports say he was the only broadcaster who prepared funeral dirge announcements. One of the shocking news we heard in 2020 was the death of Barbara Tommy, who was shot seven times by her husband, Pastor Ofori. Barbara Tommy was killed by her husband, Pastor Ofori, who is the head of Floodgates of Heaven International Ministries in Orlando in the United States. Orlando police indicated that the shooting happened on September 8, 2020, outside the Navy Federal Credit Union branch where Tommy worked. Barbara Tommy was buried on Saturday, September 26, 2020, in Orlando, Florida. Jerry John Rollins the 73-year-old died after a short illness, according to Ghanaian media. He served as a president of the country for roughly two decades up to 2001. The former president, Jerry John Rollins, who seized power twice via military coups, was admitted to the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Ghana's capital, Accra, after suffering from a brief illness state-owned newspaper Daily Graphic reported on its website. Rollins was born in Accra in June 1947 to a Ghanaian mother and a Scottish father. He came to global prominence in 1979 when, as an army lieutenant, he ousted General Frederick Akufo as president. Rollins relinquished power soon after handling over to civilian rule but orchestrated another coup two years later, citing corruption and weak leadership. From 1981 to 1993, Rollins ruled as chairman of a joint military-civilian government in 1992, he was elected president under a new constitution, fully assuming the role the following year. Despite the military takeovers, Rollins oversaw Ghana's transition to multi-party democracy and is often viewed as the man behind one of Africa's most democratic nations. He served two terms before being succeeded by John Kofor in 2001.